Hey guys, Rush here with a new video. Today what I have for you is a ring counter with actual memory. And um, before we do this, let's just turn up, or actually let's turn down the font so it doesn't, uh, so it doesn't lag on us. Change this to tiny. Um, but anyway, so right now here's the ring counter, and if you don't know what a ring counter is, it is a device that lets you choose up from about five or six outputs um, max uh, from what I know so far. But uh, and it lets you control it with just the single the single button. So right now I have it set up for three outputs. Um, so this displays displays the outputs. So um, this is output one, two and three okay and this output will control this door this output will control this door and then this output will control this door now before a uh, regular ring counter um, is just regular so you just push the button it will change its output okay so now it's on output number three okay and then it just does that but now I hooked it up so it actually has memory so now if that it's on output three I can flip the switch and then when I push the button again, it will cause this door to open right here. And because this door opens right here, we can go to the other outputs, push the button again, open the other doors, and then push it like this. Okay, and then it opens up all the other doors, and it stores that information so we can have all these doors open op um, at the same time, which is, I think is pretty cool. So this is... Uh, what we use to reset it. It's also an automatic update, so I have to flip all these switches again. And if you wanted, you can just have these all be buttons. And I have this door set up so it um, it just closes automatically, but um, I couldn't get these to, to um, close automatically. But basically, you push the button. As you can see, it will change outputs and it will reset it all. So, what that means is because this is also uh, automatic update for all of these I can have like let's just say let's have this up and then we'll have this leave this off or actually we'll do it like this so what I'm basically saying right now is keep, open this door keep this door closed and open this door okay so now if I click this you can see the outputs will switch and now this door is open this door is closed and this door is open so let's just reset this all so I'll flip all these levers again and this may not seem like so much um, for you uh, to you but it's, I think it's actually pretty cool because let's just say you had this in your house and you had a whole bunch of inputs like you had five inputs and you had it in your house and you used it to set up like a smart home so you can be like hmm okay let's activate all the, the Let's activate the alarm, and actually, let's also activate, um, or turn off the lights. And then, while we're at it, we'll start up the mob spawner, so or the mob farm, so or the automatic farm, it doesn't really matter. So, let's go here, okay, and then we'll just do the automatic update. And now, this will lead us to all the redstone wiring, so let's go down through here. Up through here. No, 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 no. And this is all the wiring. Now it looks kind of complicating, but it's actually not that complicated. Basically, what's happening is I push the button, and then it switches outputs through here. Okay. So, well, because of that, let's go here, and I'll push the button. Do you remember where that piece of red wool was? So push this button. Okay, now come in here, and you can see it switches outputs like that. Okay, remember remember where the spot is. Okay, so let's push the button again, and that should switch outputs. So now it's in the middle. Okay, and as you can see, it's in the middle. So basically, what's happening here? I have redstone torches under this right here. I have this extended out, so it only decides from these three right here instead of coming back over here so now that it's on the middle output what I have it set up as it will invert this right here and then all of these things right here with the red on top of it on top of the pistons is what is actually the memory device okay I'll link um, I'll link 
I'll put up an annotation to how that works. But um, basically, you have the redstone wiring right here, and then it um, this gets set off, okay? And this what stores all the memory. So if we push this again and flip the lever, this block will stay open like this until it gets updated, which is what this down here is for. So if that's open, then it goes um, to open up the central door, and then so on with these. I have to have inverters and all that stuff and a lot of stuff to hook it up to these levers and so that it can show the display um, of which output it's at and there's just a lot of wiring um, it's not that complicated though if you guys want I can post up a schematic but this right here is the highly advanced resetting system it's actually not that advanced if you didn't get that joke there but basically what's happening is I have these all timed out so it will send in three pulses okay because there is three outputs like I just said so because I have it set up so it brings out about three pulses, this block will change three different times, which will update all these memory devices, causing them to react to whatever I set the settings for. So as shown before, let's um, let's let's see, let's, let's turn these all off, and then we'll just do something simple like that. Then we can push the button. And then it will open up these two doors because it switches all the outputs. Or we can uh, reset this and do it manually if you would like. So let's. Like that. Okay, so if you want, you could just do it manually. So right now it's on output number one. So you click this, it will open up that door like said before but if you want to close it you have to refresh it so we have to go back to output number one so yeah it's in the middle and now it closes it because it got refreshed but I will make a video on what I use to actually make the memory so it will store the information um, of you pressing the lever it's not that hard it's very easy to do and yeah that's basically it um, so yeah, uh, that's my latest creation right now. Uh, what I'm planning on to do with this is to add a counter and maybe hook this up in a house. And basically, what it will the counter will do is will be like um, I could automate it using the ring counter, and the clock will be shown to see how many times someone steps on a pressure plate or something like that. But I'll see if I'm I can do that. So I hope you guys like this. Um, my ring counter here. Um, if you want, I can post a schematic up, and so you guys can take a better look at this. So, uh, be sure to check out my other videos. I got some motion sensors and some other cool things there that you can look at. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.